What's going on guys? It's your boy Lieutenant Buzz Light here and I'm back with my 41st weapon review from Ubisoft's latest release, The Division. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the high-end custom L86A2 light machine gun. But before we get into the review, here are some basic stats and weapon info for you on the L86. The country of origin is the United Kingdom. The rate of fire is 610 rounds per minute, the magazine size is 30 rounds, the fire type is full auto only, and the reload speed is approximately 2 seconds. Designed between the 1970s and 80s and entering production in 1985, the SA-80, short for small arms for the 1980s, is a family of 5.56 by 45 mm NATO small arms, of which the L86 LSW is a part of. The SA-80 family was designed and produced up until 1988 by the Royal Small Arms Factory at Enfield Lock. In 1988, production of the rifle was transferred to several companies and ended up with BAE Systems Land and Armaments. The L-86 is built in a bullpup layout, meaning the action is behind the trigger group with a forward-mounted pistol grip. The main advantage of this configuration is the overall compactness of the weapon, which is achieved without compromising the barrel length. The L86 LSW, or Light Support Weapon, has received much criticism as it is unable to deliver sustained automatic fire, as it does not have a quick change barrel and is not belt fed. Our end game variant, the A2, received its upgrade kit in 2007, which consisted of provisions for ACOGs, a new handguard incorporating Picatinny rails with optional hand grip or bipod, and a new Vortex style flash eliminator. I found the L86A2 to look and perform like an oversized assault rifle as it shares many similarities to a standard AR. It fires the same rounds as most of our in-game rifles but at a slightly higher RPM than other light machine guns. Reload speeds are blazing fast and rival that of most SMGs and I would recommend this weapon to those of you who can't stand the high reload speeds of a belt fed LMG. It uses the standard LMG hitbox aiming versus the more precise sights of other weapons and it does help when adjusting for the bouncing that you encounter when firing full auto. A quick side note, even though this weapon fires the same 5.56 rounds that your standard in-game AR fires, it will not count against your ammo for that weapon and if you run out it will not be able to use your surplus AR rounds. Since LMGs possess no special talents other than the enhanced ability to suppress enemies, I would recommend you use this weapon from a medium distance and pop fire at your target. This will either lead to you landing the round and damaging your enemy, or stands a good chance of keeping them pinned behind cover while giving your teammates the time they need to flank and terminate the target. Even with a high percentage extended mag mod, my L86 only held 60 rounds compared to the nearly 200 my M60 holds. So sustained fire is not the way to use this weapon and leads to you having to use it more like a primary assault weapon and getting in close to your target. Be wary though, in close LMGs suffer from slow fire rate and almost no critical hit chance. So you will need to land a considerable amount of rounds to drop higher level NPCs. My suggested mods would center on anything that enhances ammo counts and damage. Even enhanced, the L86 will only hold around 60 rounds, so any mod that will make those rounds do more damage is crucial. I'm going to rate the high-end custom L86 A2 light machine gun a 3 out of 5 stars. I don't want you to think it's a bad weapon, as a 3 on my scale is average, and that is the word I would use to describe this weapon. It doesn't have the positive attributes of the belt-fed LMGs, which are insane ammo counts and the ability to fire from distances over a long period of time to wear down enemies before moving in for the kill. It forces you to stay at medium to closer ranges, and if I'm going to be at those ranges, I would rather go with an AR or submachine gun. As always, I would like to hear your thoughts on this weapon and my review. Feel free to leave your opinions in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. I will leave a link in the description below to my entire The Division Weapon Review playlist, and check back daily for my newest reviews. Remember for my channel, likes, comments, subs, and loved. This has been your boy Buzz, saying peace out.